everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome back to some more Forever Skies. It is... Oh, no, there we go. It is a... I guess it's kind of a mobile base building survival sandbox game on a ruined earth, uh, covered in kind of this weird eternal dust storm. And also diseases, which we are here to research, specifically because uh, uh, there's a plague, I guess, going on in uh, whatever the, the new colony is. And we have to figure out the origins of it back on Earth. Uh, so this is a little bit into the game, uh, following up from my previous coverage of this game. Uh, just picking up where I left off rather than starting over because I'm making this video to, I guess, showcase the... Ooh, got dark real quick. Uh, showcase the new home gardening update that adds a whole bunch of new things. Uh, better world progression, indoor gardening, uh, new under uh under dust area so there's there's like suburbs down there that i guess you can get to which i have no idea what that's going to entail and i'm not sure if we're going to get to all of that today but i'll try my best uh before, before we begin i got a couple of talking points namely uh i guess a very quick thank you to far from home for sponsoring this video very kind of you and a ton of fun this is one of my most anticipated games uh for quite some time just owing i mean i absolutely adore survival sandbox games that are set in kind of, I don't want to say strange environments because obviously this is just Earth, but post-apocalyptic situations that aren't just like Mad Maxi. And so this one being this this airship sci-fi survival is really cool. Oh, right, I have to remember, uh, we are like flying against the wind. So we'll keep that in mind. Uh, for the time being. But also, I should mention that... Uh, oh, have I been to this one? I think I have been here. Yes. Yeah, because I, I got resources out of this one. I'm pretty sure. Because this is where we left off the last time. And, yeah, I was having trouble getting around. So, this one's a dud. And we'll just keep exploring or something. I should make sure I don't ram into anything. I go, we're at max altitude. Let's see if we can just go over this. A little bit of damage, maybe. Not sure. Either way, we want to head for those red lights. I think is going to be my easy answer for the moment. Cra research and craft the location radar. So that's going to be kind of handy. So we're going to make some level of progression on my, my own. See if I can find some things naturally. Ooh. And then we'll make the rest work. Okay. So fuels out on one of these. Well, I had a little bit more. I don't actually remember how to get... Uh, this is the one that's out. I don't remember how to make more fuel. Let's see what I can do. Scanner, repair patch. Which we might actually want to make some. Let's see. Boiled moth dust. Printing Research completed. station. Okay, take that. Maybe I don't actually know how to get more fuel. I think it's actually reasonably easy. I just... Oh, maybe it's something I make in... Uh, it's like something I make in hand. Or maybe it's something I made out, make out of synthetics. Takes a little bit me for me to get uh, back and going. Whenever I play these. What is this? This is my water, uh, water cleaner air condenser machine. So this gets us dirty water. Though we had a rain catcher earlier. Right. Handcrafting, maybe. Immunity is high. No. Doesn't look like I can do much for handcrafting. Okay, screw it. We've got a little bit of fuel left. Let's just, um... We started there. Let's head for that one. And then I'll figure everything else out. I should probably also figure out how to make that location radar, as that's going to be rather handy as well. Oh, I have a lot of repair patches. Maybe I didn't need to build more. It's fine. We should expand our airship so I can actually fit some more things in anyway. Because right now it's a, what, one by four room? Barely enough space to do much of anything on. So yeah, we'll just head over here and try and land. It is disconcerting watching these giant chunks of metal and plastic and other resources just zipping around me. Uh, namely because, like, I don't know, it's an airship. It's a effectively a giant flying blimp kind of deal. And... I cannot help but feel slightly uncomfortable with the idea of these these big chunking things flying around me. The possibility of one like 
smacking. Analysis completed. Detected new objects requiring scanning. Uh, one of these things smacking my ship as I go by is slightly terrifying. I was right. I was completely correct. There is there is plenty of fuel to be had. I just need to make it out of plastic, which actually... Printing I mean, I guess it makes sense. It just feels a little weird uh, making Printing anything out of plastic to that extent. Now let's make one more, because yeah, we've got we've got tons of this stuff. I knew I had no cause to be concerned. Printing I think we're printing. actually more worried about, like, food at the moment. There we go, 100. I'm not... Yeah, I'm not too hungry or thirsty, so let's see what we have in here. Smog is rising. Spread the word. Smog levels will rise again soon. It's advised to leave the lowest residential levels. The forecast indicates an increase in the level by more than a meter. But we all know how inaccurate previous forecasts were. Be wary and be safe. Yeah, let's just look around. Just grab what I can, because plastic scrap... I don't actually remember if plastic scrap is really that pivotal or not. And I know eventually... Well... I think I can point the scrapping laser at this, yeah. If I really want to. I can potentially scrap a amount of this stuff with a ship as I go by. Okay. Hey, do we have any goodies in here? Machine parts, another insect lure. There we go. Uh, can I get... No, I can't get further down. Anything here? No. I'm supposed to scan something while I'm here. The solid state battery. Yeah, we need more of those. Let's see. Anything else here? Not up here. I'm not seeing much of anything. So I guess let's just hop down. Try not to die. Oh, that's drink dirty water. We don't need it. Eh, eh, there we go. Okay, some more plastic scrap. I almost kind of wish you could deconstruct these entire structures after you're done with them. Truly, so you don't have to worry about um, finding them again and being like, I wonder if I can actually grab anything in here. And then you can't because you've already looted it all. Okay, inventory is very full. So, yeah, let's go back. I should have cleared it, cleared it out beforehand, but I was, I don't know, I was kind of hoping that I had more than enough. Let's see. Is any of this at all damaged? Place on your airship. Does not require repair. So maybe we actually didn't get hit by anything. Oh. Oh. I guess one of my panels took a little bit of damage. Oh, there's actually like a visible damage that kind of pops up too. Nice. Holy smokes, I have a lot of things. Solid state batteries, solid state batteries. Oh, they just weren't stacking. And actually, we have a little bit more fuel in the tank. Toss that in. I guess the other thing I might as well do... Open lure container, lure slot. Oh no, I guess we actually have some. Okay, so... Oh, this one is injured. Or damaged. No longer requires repair. End of the engines. Okay, let's, let's just lower the lure for a moment. I think when it starts, like, shaking around, that's when we need to bring it back up again. Do I wait, or do I go do other things? I'm gonna go do other things for a second. Maybe it's fine. I don't know if it, like, fails on me. Let's see. Other thing I might want to look into at some point. Another small storage box. Up oh, there it is. Yeah, so that's actually pretty obvious. Okay, take Dust Moth. And let's just lower it again. I forget. I think we just cook here. This thing is uh, multi-purpose. No, we need the electric cooker. This thing. Oh, consume boiled Dust Moth. And again, boil. Okay, so we wanted to grab a stack of synthetics. 
I might as well make one more storage box while we're here. Because my inventory is going to get progressively more full with random junk. Though some of it is entirely my fault for being sloppy. Or making too many of different things. Take rotten food. Hmm. Printing completed. I'm not actually sure if that's a good idea. In fact, I would actually go so far as to say I don't think I want that. Okay, let's just put some of these away. Not suitable for consumption. Useful in crafting that requires organic resources. Let's put away a number of the repair patches. Okay, now that I have some space, let's go back and search this little area. Because there's something to be scanned in here. I know that much. Seems like it's mostly machine parts. Huh. Where would this object be? What's this like? The lamp? Okay, here we go. No, we've already scanned that. Glass objects. Take a construction pylon. I feel like that's the British term for these things. Okay. Is there nothing to scan here? Yeah, because we've got a synthetic case. Another synthetic case. If there's something to scan, I've completely missed it. Luckily, I mean, we can always come back. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, oh, right. You have to press E to get off. I think we're just good to go. So why don't we... Why don't we hop back on this? Let's shift. So used to pressing spacebar to go up. All right, hop off for a moment. We might as well just scrap some things while we're here. I don't think we really need the synthetics though. But stuff like the glass though, and the metals. Glass is especially rare, I think. Metals, on the other hand, common enough. Yeah, so it might be one of those that all we really needed out of this place was the one thing. Well, I don't know. Hmm. Anything else here? No. Yeah, maybe we build that location scanner and see if it actually pops up with anything more useful. See, I'm not seeing anything else. Okay, so... I guess first, first things first. Advanced insect lure. We need some more glass. Energy crystal tool charger. Might not be a bad idea. Span balloon balloon core. So base of... For the balloon, each airship has at least one possible add more parallel balloons to increase its capacity. Useful, but not at the moment. So circuit board and electric elements. Well, we have some of that. We actually have more glass than I thought. So is there anything I can do with this? Location radar. Need a circuit board. I can make one. Printing completed. Okay, let's start with the location radar. As much as I'd like to research the extra circuit boards and whatnot, I think we need the location radar more than anything else. Consume that. Uh, let's see. Bottle water. Oh, we do actually have some water. I'm going to have to move this. Holy smokes, this thing takes a long time to cook. All right, whatever. Let's just, uh, let's just continue on and keep finding different locations. Yeah, 
have a vague guide on, well, vague, an actually fairly useful guide on where to find the stuff I'm looking for. I'm going the wrong direction. I've been here before. Printing completed. We gotta go the other direction. Oh. I wonder if it's one of those that it flashes if there's still something useful. So I guess we want to head over to that, which looks kind of special. Whatever this platform is up ahead, it looks way more... Uh, let's see, we're at max altitude? Yeah. I don't want to get bonked by this. Yeah, whatever this is, this seems a little bit more impactful. I don't know what's going on with it. Some of it is sparking. So maybe before I go close, let's point our uh, scrapper laser at it and see what I can get out of it. All right, so we've got the location radar. I researched the location radar. I've crafted it. Where do I put it? I have no idea. I guess let's uh let's make some more let's go back here. Here. There we go. Let's make a couple of those. Printing completed. Okay. Any of this stuff scrappable from this distance? I'm not going to be able to get this. Okay, no, we got it. However, here's the problem. We don't really want to be up high at the moment. Hey, they made the... the... thunder and lightning noises much quieter. I'm just gonna hope. No, that's not gonna work. Area. The preliminary analysis started. Pretty sure that analysis hit my ship. Completed. Detected new objects requiring scanning. Okay, I'm gonna hope that this is safe enough at the moment. A dirty water. I should probably put one of these in, or no. Add condenser meat. Uh, one of these. Drink a bit more. And I've got empty bottles. Oh no, that's the condenser. This is the purifier. So I guess we've got to put it here? No. What? A bottle requires... A oh, it's because I have... I have fresh water to begin with. Let's just hope this isn't currently hitting the ship. It'd be pretty sad if I blew up. Printing completed. Okay, there we go. So we've got some clean water, and we can start the research pro process on, I guess, a couple of different things. Tool charger might actually be a good idea. Snag that real quick. Strikes raw resources. Oh, but we can't do that anyway. So let's let's do the tool charger for now. Whoa. Okay, that might be a bit of a risk, considering everything. Okay, so we've got the tool charger. I already. Hmm, that might be why I was taking some damage. So what do we have here? Ink bulb seed. Well, that seems interesting. Anything else in here? 
Machine parts. Data card. Oh, lantern. There we go. It makes you feel cozier. It'd be interesting if morale was, like, actually a, th a thing that mattered in this game. And so, like, the cozier your base is, the better it feels. Or, the better it feels, like, the better your stats are. Okay, so there's actually something extensive kind of here. I need a knife, though, to cut through it. Some rotten food. Okay, well, let's go back up for a moment. The storm has ended, as far as I can tell. So hopefully we don't have to worry about getting blasted. Let's let's move my my poor airship so it's not currently clonked into this thing. I was driving stupid because I was worried about the storm, but um, maybe I should have been a little bit more careful. Maybe. Warning. Low altitude. Okay, so first and foremost, we might as well check. Not damaged. Yeah, probably bonking things. Took some damage there. Does not require repair. I mean, that's... That's good news. What? <laughs> I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna think about that. I'm just gonna let it be. Let's do store similar. Really? I don't have anything better? I guess we've got that. Let's put the lantern somewhere. Heck yeah, anti-gravity lantern. Nobody questioned this. Move the lamp over. Machine parts. Ink bulb seeds. Hey! Speaking of ink bulb seeds and planting and farming and stuff, that's probably the way we do it. Here, let's go back to this thing. I'm pretty sure open lure container. Yeah, it doesn't have another one, so I'll put one of those in. Alright, so big question is, do I know how to make a knife? Tool charger, but no knife. Knife. Polymer. Hmm. How do we get polymer? I'm just gonna go down here briefly. See if I can find any information about polymer that I can. Ow. With viral infection. Okay. Rotten food. Wait, hold up. Lobster pepper. Sun melon. Okay. Got stuck in a plant. All right. Should probably not be too cavalier about that. Can I scan these? So yeah, there's something in there, but we got to figure out how to make polymer. Thought I saw something over here. There's that. There's these here. Because I'm going to poke at this place a little bit longer, see if we can find it. Otherwise, we might have to come back. But yeah, there might have been something hidden by the fact that, you know, I parked my ship in this structure by a goof. Well, I was right. There was some stuff. No polymer, though. So that's got to be... That's got to be something that I get elsewhere somehow. Okay. Well, one way or another, we're not finding polymer back there. So I'm, I'm just going to keep forging ahead. We'll see what I can find. There's something blinky all the way out in the distance, I think. Maybe? Maybe not. 
It's a really tall looking tower there. Uh, let's see. Resource lasers right there. I'm gonna park it here for a hot second. We might as well zap some of these as we go by. Not that I really need the synthetics canisters anyway, but... Might as well snag what I can. Are there any structures here? Maybe, maybe not. At least not, not viewable from this distance. Maybe down, yeah, it's down there. In that case, I think my chances of parking around here are pretty slim. That's fine. Because, yeah, I want to grab as much glass as possible, so I might as well just, like, insta-hoover everything I can. I wonder what came first, the president or Hoover as a vacuum brand? Or are they one and the same? Is the president the vacuum brand? That's out of range. I wasn't really expecting to get much out of that. All right. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Let's go land. It's probably just like somebody's last name. And well, I mean, obviously it was uh, President Hoover's last name, but, you know, it might just be might have been a more common one back in the day. You got to land gingerly. Back when this first hit early access, I landed hard. And uh, did some damage. Might still be doing some damage. I don't know if I'm landing well. All right. How's my inventory looking? Pretty full. So store similar. Store similar. That should be good enough. At least for the moment. Boy, my character has like no stamina. I guess we are tired. And getting kind of hungry. I'm terrified of falling to my death. I don't actually know what happens when you do. I'm not super interested in taking that risk. A lot of places for dirty water. A lot of places for solid state batteries. Not seeing much else here. Is there something on the other side? No, I think I'm good. Ooh, I have a, I'm not going to say it's a crippling fear of heights, but it's an uncomfortable fear of heights. Like, you know, when you're looking down a pre precipice, uh, you know, like off a railing, even on like a third or fourth story building or something like that. And there's kind of that, uh, I think it's called the call of the void. Uh, I don't exactly get the call of the void per se, but there's still that, that uncomfortable feeling looking um looking down from like a high location that I I cannot deal with it freaks me out every time and that apparently transfers to video games so I'll be playing like a video game and I'm looking looking off a cliff or I'm doing like a big dive or, or well no it depends cuz like it doesn't bug me in games like Skyward Sword the moment I have some means of like Arresting my fall or flying away, then it's not a problem. Oh, I see. I keep seeing these go by. Oh, there's still some synthetic fuel hiding in here. Looks like it's mostly resources, nothing else. Well, in that case, do we want to... Hmm. Because, yeah, they tried doing some gardening, but it didn't work. Do we want to actually upgrade our ship a bunch at the moment? I think that would be the call. Because right now it's a little small. Ooh. I'm seeing two lights up ahead. Yeah, where's the location radar go? Oh. Oh. Find Noah's hideout on Greenhouse Tower location. 
Hold to see more. Okay, build a new wall on the airship. Satisfy hunger. That's where I've already done that. Okay, so now we have a bunch of stuff, I suppose. Let's pick this thing up for the time being. Let's do removal mode. Take the back off for a hot second. Hydration level is decreasing. Do we want to exit removal mode? Pick this up. Can I... Can I build? I can build a room. I could build a ladder room. Ladder leading to a different level. Cancel. Uh, container not empty. Maximum Pick that up. Speed reduced. Okay. Terrified of doing this, but go back to removal mode. Take all these back in. Never mind, we're out of space. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. let's so put that away for a moment. Build menu room. Locked by equipment. Oh, piss. Uh, who's a goofus? I'm a goofus. Uh, let's see. What are we... Well, you know what I can do? I can go in here. Because we have the water condenser. I can actually get it rolling. Oh, cannot place inside. Never mind. I guess I'll just put it over here for the time being. Add a condenser mem membrane. Let's just burn through that. Then, let's pick up the cone. I sleep with the cone. Do we sleep, actually? Yeah, it's probably good enough time. My character is nice and, nice and tired anyway. Probably go get some moths. That is the one fear. But I'm not going to be starving yet by the time I wake up. We're going to be pushing it, though. We do also have, like, the old rations. Let's see, use cooking station. I suppose I should lower my lure. Oh. My sun melon expired. The immune system has dealt with viral infection. Okay. Yeah, I guess I gotta keep in mind I had some food. Ink bulb seed, lobster pepper seed. We'll have to do some farming later. For now, build menu, room. Room. We'll have to do this on the opposite side, but I need a little bit more space. Rotten food, yum. But at least this is... Ugh, this is gonna give me so much room to just mess around. I'll probably want to add a lower floor. But I'll do that in a moment. Much inventory space. I do actually have enough for this. Probably also get some more water. Printing completed. Okay, basic storage box. Uh, let's see. Make some more bottles. Printing completed. Toggle snapping. Just, does it snap? I don't know. Yeah, I guess those are like weird... Oh, they're the dust moths, of course. The fact that my character has been 
subsisting largely off of dust, dust moths at this point is a little unnerving. It's a little weird. Grab the empty bottle, bottle of the dirty water, pick up the this. Can't place it down, sort of. Let's go back to this for a second. Build rooms. We can do metal walls. Oh. Metal floor and ceiling, plastic wall. Easily damaged. Railing, catwalk. Okay, do we have any more metal? I guess these rooms kind of... Eh, they didn't exactly empty me out here. I'm out of synthetics too. Well, let's, let's go over to this one. What can I put away? We have all this dirty water. Bottle clean water. Hmm. Okay, what do we what do we put away at this point? We definitely have a couple of things that I can actually Oops, that was take all. Actually, maybe I would want to. Maybe we want to move everything over here. We do actually have a bunch of helium. Calories level is decreasing. Okay, so while that's going, let's go back, take all. I think I want to move most of my Research containers. Finalized. Pick them up and move them over here at, at the very least. Give myself a little bit more space. Okay, what do we have next? Plastic scrap, those, a bunch of synthetics. Like, so I suppose we kind of need an amount of it. Okay, and then you take all. Pick up. There we go. Yeah, this will just be considerably tidier than what we had. Let's see, store similar. Oh no, not the synthetics. We kind we kind of do actually need those. Okay, I forget how to make a door. I suppose I should probably eh, have put the door back one more. Eh, whatever. Door needs electric elements. Okay, got a door. Do we put a metal metal wall? Build a new wall on the airship. It really doesn't want me to for some reason. Oh, there we go. Can I build, like, um, plastic walls? Can I make a window? We can expand the balloon, but we need some more helium. Can also get some more cockpits. I don't know. Probably fine for the moment. Let's just go back to build mode. Oh, that's floor and ceiling. We can't do that. There we go. I don't know exactly. Eh, it's kind of expensive, but it's not heinously so. Am I only doing working in twos and threes? I am. Grab the lure container. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is just move all these to the other side. Though I guess what I should do while I'm here is... Airship builder, cooker, bed, storage box, engine. Radar. Where's where's my where's my tool charger? Oh, tool charger. Need ten copper. I'm pretty sure I have two. Okay, so my my tools will remain char uncharged for at least a moment. We'll find some more as we as we go by. I think I'll just make do with my slightly lopsided ship for a moment. 
Because I think we want to head for those two. And see what I can get out of it. Uh, let's see. So I guess, yeah, let's just, let's just put everything away for a moment. I did... Oh, no. Yeah, there's the engine. Not enough lift? Oh. I put too many spots on this. I can't do anything. Until we progress a little further. Alright, whatever. Let's just go check this out. Unfortunately, the wind very much is not my favor at the moment, so I guess I'm just gonna have to make do. That location radar is incredibly helpful. It does feel like... I wonder if some of these are actually just randomly generated. The ones with exclamation marks might be... Um, might be more fixed points. Less random. Either way, we gotta find some more helium. Unless we can make it? I don't think we have uh, any kind of like atmosphere condenser dealios going on. And I really don't want these to hit... Low altitude. Hit the balloon. I don't know, there's something about this that is just kind of magical. The floating through this empty, desolate even environment. Well, I mean, it's absolutely desolate. But kind of the, the wreckage and the ruins of everything nearby. I keep seeing the uh, corner on the glass as some kind of mega structure in the distance and I get, a, I get a little sad. I keep expecting to find some kind of like uber structure somewhere. Okay, let's just stop in here, see what we can find. It's probably a whole lot of not much. But that's maybe fine. Okay. First and foremost. Solid state battery. I keep expecting to be able to get something out of those, like, cables. But as of yet, I cannot. Okay, there's a data pad. Too old. Under the new law, the older you are, the lower the housing you're entitled to. Because the shortest life awaits you anyway. I qualify for the lowest group. So for the time being, I moved out here. I'm not going to die from smog just because someone decided I'm too old. Twats. Almost as if they want to forcefully volunteer us to go beneath the smog. Look like they, um, made it. Is that hot dog buns? It is hot dog buns. <laughs> Those are some fresh looking hot dog buns Considering everything Okay, is there a way in here? No Okay Looks like we've got a Looks like we've got to bring the recycling beam to bear What side is it on now? Okay, the lop side At least pil piloting in this is like Wicked easy, so. I'm trying to think of other games that I've played in somewhat recent memory. It was actually kind of a pain to get around. I don't know. I swear I was playing like a mobile base builder recently and it was nightmarishly annoying to navigate. Okay, we've got a good hole to get into, at the very least. I might still want to give it a second look when I'm at a slightly different angle, just in case I can see more. I think that was it. And then we can get some more synthetics there. 
I should probably spend some time actually grabbing metal scrap as we go by. Because we do need a lot of metals. Because I think I burnt through most of my supply. Building up even the slight bit that I did. I'll get to that in a bit. For now, it's kind of progression time. I want to start doing some gardening. So what I might do is... Check out what's whatever's in this this structure, like I was going to. And maybe pop ahead a little bit until we've we've found something a little bit more meaningful. How do we get in here? Oh, there's there's a door on the other side. Why is there a door on the other side? Oh, I do not like this. Me and my fear of heights. They do not play well with structures like these. Oh boy. Maybe there's an easier way out. I have no idea. Yeah, it seems like a lot of these structures at this point are purely resource. Like, once once you've kind of found every scan on a tier, then it's mostly just like, hey, here's some more, like, plastic and some other things. Which, I mean, is good. We need it. Let's open for some, some of that sweet, sweet helium. Oh, I am not happy about being here. There we go. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, let's go check out that that uh, two light tower. See what we can get. Because I want to at least do a little bit of farming to celebrate this update. Or heck, maybe even make it to the um. Eh, no. I think the two star is probably good enough. Ooh. Look at that. Wait, a mountain range. No fuel. No fuel. Oops. Let's, uh, let's fix that. Printing completed. Okay, so we've got a two light. I think a one light over there. And this big mountain range that I don't think I can get to. I see a couple of two lights to the right. And left. Oh. I wonder if two light... Oh, you know what? That's what it is. The lights are kind of a classification system. Effectively a rarity system. To say, hey, this is what you're most likely to find in these areas. And kind of limits what kind of tech level you get to. So... One lighter, just basic resources and some lore. Uh, maybe some of the useful bits. Two light is where we get... Hydration level is decreasing. Maybe a little bit more. Alright, one thing I should probably do is find some food. Because I've been kind of ignoring that. And it's not great. Oh, this is where we get the copper from, of course. Okay, do we have anything in you? Yes. Looks like that's kind of it for here. Let's grab a bit more metal. And then I think what we do is we get up and we just rotate this ship 180. And get that copper. Hopefully we can find some helium while we're here. There we go. I like how like wondrous that music is. And then I land and it's like, well, never mind, you're not going anywhere. Snagging the metal. Okay. Nope, there's one more chunk. Then I have to figure out how to get downstairs. Okay. Well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, if this doesn't really have much of anything of note, 
Yeah, let's let's see what I said and cut ahead. We're gonna we're gonna wait until we get somewhere actually cool, and then come back. Oh, these catwalks are terrifying. Well, I don't think this is the correct place that I meant to go. Uh, I don't think this is the greenhouse, but I've never been here before. There's a big question mark. And that's usually a good sign for, hey, this is a neat new place to go check out. I guess for starters, let's point the recycling beam at this place. I see at least a decent amount of glass. Who knows, this might actually be like a greenhouse or something. And we've kind of lucked out into getting exactly what I came here for. Probably not, though. Is that anything? No. Any, any of these? There's like one thing in the distance, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it from this angle. Yeah, I'm not betting on it. So let's let's just go down. Just feather it down. Don't crash again. There we go. Area. The preliminary analysis started. Oh, you know what I do need though? I need my analysis scanner. Completed. Detected new objects requiring scanning. There we go. Let's see. See studies menu. Okay, so we have a flashlight. Small town. Okay, communication point. I... Oh, that's interesting. Radio tower variants. So you can actually see the different things we can potentially find at these. So 50% of those. Bruised flower, wrecked small gardening plots. Oh, is those... That those flashing things I saw on that roof. On the overgrown tower. Oh, of course it is. I think I legitimately just forgot they were there. Let's just let that go for the time being and let's let's check. So for starters, basic pattern cartridge. Oh, for like Research painting and finalized. art and whatnot. Okay, let's put this away for a little bit. I need a knife. But it's a shortcut, so I, I can actually still get through this. Can I? I am not comfortable with these jumps, but hey, here we are. Anything else? Paint tool. Okay, can't get through there. I mean, I guess we can go back. Pattern cartridges. More of those. Yeah, I don't know how desperately I need to come back to these locations. I guess it is probably going to tell me if it's... There's quite a number of things that I've missed. So at the very least, we'll want to go out of our way to go to one more overgrown tower, seeing as that actually had the garden plots, and I just missed them. But, I don't know. I I guess I'm just going to keep wandering around. I think we, we still want to go out of our way to try and get to, like, the polymers, for example. If we can find them. There is nothing here, and nobody here either. I'm actually kind of legitimately curious about where the story for this game is going to go. Is there going to be a realization that, yeah, everybody is dead? That's kind of the what I'm going off of anyway. Okay, inventory is full. What do we... Oh. I picked up an old ration. We might as well eat that. Oh, this is something. The world will be... The world will be full of colors again. My dear Sarah, colors were her life. She couldn't get over the gray world we had left. After months of collecting parts and refining the design, I finally got it right. I built a paint tool. With it, I'll restore colors to this reality. Darling, this is for you. Only you were here to still see it. Okay, I've been through there. 
been through this kind of not not really there's this upper section but um hydration level is decreasing yeah i wasn't really expecting to be able to get that up uh, beans Okay, so we haven't exactly found the overgrown... Well, no, I see another overgrown one back there, so I'll have to hit it up. Looks like I might have missed something back at this one, but I think I need the knife for that. I don't know. One way or another, uh, let's raise our altitude. We might have to add another turbine to this, but at the very least we can... Oh, yeah, we definitely need another turbine or two. Unlock speed. This is progress. Whatever, whatever is up in here, this is exactly what I'm looking for and then some. But yeah, we are at our current maximum altitude, and that's not nearly good enough to get up on this one. So let's just get a little little closer, and I'll see about building a turbine. What? Cripes. That's a, a big structure. So what do we what do we need? The turbine's actually something I build with this. Basic turbine, machine parts, electric parts, and metal. Well, we should have plenty of both of these. And tons of metal. All right, beautiful. Do we actually get, like, a couple of these? I think so. A shipload ain't bad. I guess what I can do, build menu. Oh, we wait. I think I want to be able to catwalk to the front of this thing. Not enough resources. Ah, beans. What am I out of? Synthetics? Yep. I ran out of synthetics. Not really a big deal. It's kind of... everywhere. I'm very glad that most of the time this stuff doesn't do damage to my ship. Yeah, we'll just we'll just snag a little bit of it as we go by. Let's see, bottle dirty water. Oh, that's one dirty water. All right. I'll have to work on that. Now a turbine. A turbine is right here and is stonking huge. Maximum flight altitude increased. Only by 20 meters. Unknown location reached. Nope. It's just barely enough. And that's good enough for me. Uncharted area. The preliminary analysis started. Okay. Something here took took a hit, so we should probably also fix that. Analysis completed. Detected new objects requiring scanning. What? Virus activity is increasing. Threat of permanent immunodeficiency. Okay. The one problem is I didn't exactly cook much. I'm pretty sure I don't have any old rations either. Ah, uh, do we want to just back off for a hot second? I guess here's the thing. If I just go over here... Maybe I can extend it downwards. Should be fine. Hydration Lower lure. Is decreasing. Oh, it's not blocked. Let's see. Bottle some more dirty water. There we go. That's considerably more than I had. Uh, let's see. We have that too, but I don't think I want to mess with it. Let's just put some things away. I don't know where I got this helium fuel from. But I kind of don't want it. Oh, I've got some more synthetic fuel that I should probably use as well. 
or at least fill out, because yeah, that's ro running low. Ugh, rotten food. That's not what I need. What else can I do while I'm here? So we have biomass fuel, but that's not really in the cards. A lot of these require gardening. In fact, I would actually argue that almost all of these require gardening. I think we'll just stick around for a little bit, get some food. Do not want to eat the rotten food. There we go. Please be it. Be gone. I... <sighs> we could actually just go up and in this. It is a giant greenhouse after all. Yeah, we gotten that melon earlier, but I hadn't scanned the gardens. Let's put our build tool away. We don't need it at the moment. Please just be a moth. Yep. I'm going to starve to death. Is there anything else I can do at the moment? I guess we might as well just finish putting the catwalk on. And then do we want to start removing a bunch of these? Can I remove the door? Remove attachments. Okay, can't do that yet. What are the odds? All right, screw it. We're just going up the tower. I'm just going to clear my inventory of what I can. And just hope that there are it, there's at least some edible rations or something in here. We've got plenty of time. But like, it looks like... I mean, I guess this is either plot progress or gardening. Or both. What is this? Dirty water. Fair enough. Plant oil. Ah, that's a new thing. Data card, simple insect lure, polymers. I almost feel like, um... I mean, I'm seeing some, some gardening stuff here. Oh, we don't have enough space, but... I should, once I can farm plants. Ah, that's just for the the other entrance that I didn't take. Once I, I'm able to farm plants, I should be able to get some of these. What? Huh. Okay. Well, I needed polymer, and it is decided to be forthcoming. You know, when I say it that way, it makes it sound almost salacious. I probably shouldn't. Alright. The problem is, one of these has, like, a stupid massive padlock on it. And that's just going to cause problems. Data card, empty bottle, bloom floor and ceiling, ink bulb seeds. As soon as we find those gardens again. I'll be able to get up in there. I just... This feels important. Oh, that feels very important to me. Who are you? Organic colander. Oh, I can scan this. A blockade. I need a knife for a crossbow. Well, you know what? I'm actually going to go back down. Because if all I need is polymer for a knife, then we should get that going. 
probably also extend this while we while we do so. Otherwise, once again, going to starve. Oh. Let's see anything else? God, this game is gorgeous. Look at it. Like, I don't know. There's kind of this weird beauty in the post-apocalypse. And this is probably one of my favorite depictions I think I've ever seen. It's still dark. Like, won't deny that. But it's kind of cool in a way. Okay. Lure is worn out, but we have dust lettuce. Oh. Need some more of these. Bottle of fresh water. Okay, and I've got plenty of lures. Risk of starvation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give a moment. Make a knife. What was the other thing? I was looking into this. Ah, requires synthetics. Research finalized. Okay, where did I put it? There it is. Food and health. Oh, that's barely anything. Take knife. Do we want to research the crossbow and bolts while we're here? I think so. I don't know if I need to fight anything. It's probably for puzzles. If I had a guess. Research finalized. Well, unless I'm super desperate. Let's see what else we have. Filtering bottle, but I need a green colander. And plant oil, but that requires a bunch of things. Please be a moth. There it is. Just gonna send a couple more of these down. Because yeah, I've been neglecting my health up until now, and that's not great. Let's see anything else? No, really just wait until the moth is done, eat that. Maybe cook one more thing if we have it, and then otherwise just go back up the tower. It's a weirdly wicked looking knife. I don't know, something about it just makes me feel extra stabby. In like a possibly malicious way. I guess Noah was a psycho and left everybody else to die, so... I guess he would be the guy with a kind of wicked knife. Okay, I think we're good enough. think we're good enough. I'm at least not going to starve or get dehydrated while I'm up here. We might run out of inventory space, though. I'll definitely have to look into better storage. Okay, so for starters... Oh, bam. Old distillation. We have a constant shortage of construction resources. What we manage to transport from the surface is not enough for long. The distiller is designed to help with this, allows you to extract oils and resins from plants, and from them produce resources such as polymer. In addition, allows the creation of fertilizers and faster cultivation. A well-built garden can be a self-sufficient source of building materials. This will make us independent of having to search for resources. More plant oils. Wrecked distiller. Okay, anything else here? Hydration level is decreasing. A couple of crossbow bolts. Nothing else. Okay. So I guess next order of business is this. Green colander. It's a beefy vegetable. Probably not edible though, would be my guess. Oh, can I not can I not get in here? Yeah, this actually seems like something. The 
that I might want a point of recycling beam at. Or maybe there's an entrance from upstairs. Big question is, can I eat this? Very nutritious. Requires cooking first. Okay. They really locked this place off, didn't they? Coffee nut. Can I eat those? Reduces fatigue. It's not really what I'm going for. Oh, biomass. Useful. Not what I'm going for, though. I think I'm just going to have my scanner out for the time being. I think I can't, can't climb this ladder. Yeah, I cannot. Okay, been there, done that. Yeah, I might have to get some more turbines and clonk them onto my structure. Ah, here we go. This is the building I couldn't get into earlier. Or, no, it's not. This is a building I've been in. Dang. Note to self, make a flashlight when you get the chance. Oof. There's a little on the dark side. Oh. Why is there something making noises? It sounds like there's a creature. No idea. Okay, let's go back to the scanner. Because scannable things are usually... There we go. Plant that emits toxic fumes. Avoid getting contact... Getting in contact with it. Okay, and what are these? Water tanks. And are these the gardens? Big gardening plot. Small gardening plot? Okay. Doesn't look like there's much anything else. Master plans. It seems to me that nature itself is against us. None of these master plans are working. This sapling that was brought to us from the experimental gardens doesn't want to grow here. Its development is so slow that it might as well be dead. They said it was unusual and could revolutionize our lives. Revolutionize our lives. Bullshit. If it can't sustain itself in our poor ground and water, how are we supposed to keep it alive? It's the same situation as they imagined using, uh, imagined raising animals in gardens. They didn't take it into account that we don't have space for it, and there's barely enough food for people. We wouldn't have anything to feed them with, and the time it, a uh, time to breed one to relative adulthood is at least a year. I'm glad they didn't find any live animals under the smog. They all should accept that now the only available future for humanity is slow extinction. Dark. Also, well, animals are good sources of protein, you have to feed them. And feed them a lot. So, like, I do actually kind of agree with the sentiment of animals are... Probably not the way to go. What is making that noise? It sounds like there's a monster out here. The immune system has dealt with viral infection. Broken glass, keeping that in mind. Take a garden gnome. Maybe whatever that is? I have no idea. I'm gonna grab a couple more green colanders. Okay, I think this is Noah's. So there's the bruise flower. Is 
Do we have a couple of them? Yeah, we do. Okay, immunity decrease alert. A change in health status caused by virus activity has been detected. Oh, immunity permanently reduced to 75%. Okay, so we just hit our next difficulty level. Poster of crossbreeding. Hmm. What do we have? Is there anything in here that I don't really need at the moment? I kind of want the seeds. To drop those. Sure flowers. Poster of crossbreeding. Use computer. No power. Okay, there might be a way to power it, though. Otherwise, you know what? I'm just going to take an amount of this stuff back. And we'll take a nap, do whatever... Whatever need needest to be done. I'm gonna see if I can get some garden plots going too. And we have we've got the colanders to grow. Or at least cook. I'm hoping I can I can do both. But I might need to figure out how to get the seeds. Okay. Uh is it something I have to research first? Organic fertilizer, well that's easy. Crossbow. Research finalized. Polymer. Sticky sticky note. But that's just for me to write things down. Small water tank. Let's see. Long lasting plants and bushes supports big seeds. Small seeds. So we need synthetics. Do a store similar. Some of these have got a maybe? Barely. Go back over here. Store a couple of these. I have a lot of I have a lot of dirty water. The storm is coming. That I should be using. Okay. And yeah, more bottles than I know what to do with. We might have to get rid of some. Not the most keen on that idea. Okay, small water tank needs some polymers. Let's start with a small small garden plot. Let's cook exactly one of these. What do I need for polymers? Plant oil Research and synthetics. Oh, well, that's easy enough. Yeah, let's let's snag some more synthetics as, as we're just hanging out here. If I need it for a number of these gardening plots, we might as well just have them. Okay, we've got our polymer. The small water tank. Boiled green... Okay, boiled green colander. Oh, that is... That is good eats. Research finalized. Okay, we have the distiller, but that's liquids. I mean, useful. I'm just excited about the idea of potentially not having to worry about, um... Research finalized. Put some of these back for a second. I'm just excited about not having to worry about feeding myself with moths. Because that was becoming a problem. Okay, so we have small garden plot, big one. I guess let's start with the small one. smaller one for the time being. Research finalized. Okay, what else can we get? Lobster pepper or biomass. Pattern cartridges, which I don't care too deeply about. Filtering bottle. I guess I'll grab that. Okay, where is this garden plot? There it is. I guess I should put that gnome down Research somewhere. Finalized. Okay, so what can I plant? Not a colander. Figured as much. Here. Where's that note? 
I'm just gonna leave him there. Ink, ink bulb probably isn't food. Lobster pepper. Let's snag a couple of these. Oh, that's a big sea. Ah, shoot. I don't think we know. Okay. I, I guess we can't... We can't assume that I have enough resources for this. But I don't think... I don't think I can plant these. Let's just make another one of those. Uh, let's see. Dirty water. I'll have to work on that. Uh, let's see. And grab a couple more of these. So, we can do some home gardening. That is exciting. We can barely do some home gardening, and my sky base is pretty weak. I don't think we're going to see the suburbs today. I'm not even sure how long this video has gone on. Way longer than I usually go. Uh, but I was really hoping to make some serious progress, and I think I did. So why don't we why don't we go back up the tower now that we are mostly fine? I guess I'll take a quick nap, just get my juice back, and let's let's see what what is left upstairs, and then I think I'll call it quits. Boy, it takes a long time to sleep. Okay, let's eat this. Did I get enough? No, I need some metals. I'll make at least a couple storage boxes if I can, if I have the, the resources for it. Because that's a lot of bottles. Oh, speaking of, oh, that water, uh, it goes away fast. Also amusingly, sleeping does not pass farming time. We have to wait for that. Printing completed. Can I, like, stack them on top of each other? No. That's unfortunate. Okay, what else do we have? Did I have, like, a bunch of batteries somewhere, or did I pull them all out? I must have. Let's see, plant oil. Plastic like scrap. This is kind of my gardening area. I should maybe remove some of these things. That's better. It's probably good enough, at least for now. Let's just put these away. Don't have anything else, so yeah. Let's go back up. Let's see if there was anything else that was even remotely interesting. There is a number of places that I... or things that I might not be able to get to without using a, a scrapper beam. But that's going to take a, an amount of effort on its own to prep, just because I'm, I'm going to actually have to... What's making this noise? Is it you? Is it above me? Okay, it's not moving anymore. I don't know if it was supposed to be. Hydration level is decreasing. Let's see. What is making that noise? Is it a lobster? Lulling Grass Cricket. Okay, let's just get some biomass out of this. Photophobia, so don't look at the sun again. I was wondering what it was. So there are little sort of enemies. Oh, patat, as in potato. Of course. 
the soil. The primary garden in our sector has collapsed into the smog due to excessive overdevelopment. As idiotic as it sounds, we need to expand others to replace its production. We will all starve to death if we don't figure something out. The scavengers are trying to recover what they can, but we don't know how it will end. For the time being, we all ask you to supply us with soil for seeding. Well, I don't think this worked out well, so let's just grab uh, what biomass we can. Ow. Is it the bees? Probably just wait. Or just stop. Anything else here? No. Oh, there is a... Virus infection detected. Meningitis? What the... Thorn bee honey. Oh. Oh boy, we've picked up some issues. Uh, hallucina uh, Hallucinations. Yeah, that's fun. All right. Well, with the exception of, I think, one or two rooms that I haven't been in here that probably have some neat resources, I think we've kind of hit our limit on this place and hit our limit for now. So I might as well mention once again that, uh, let's see, was there anything cool in here? There's the posters, but I think our character was sort of losing their mind due to the drawings and maybe some other stuff, something. Oh, it's just the glass wall. So I guess to repeat a couple of things uh, before we go, one is that Forever Skies is uh, has been out on Steam for at least a was it half a year now? A little bit more than half a year? Uh, it was, I think, midsummer, early August, somewhere in there. Uh, and has come a fair way. Every update seems to add quite a lot of stuff. New story elements, new base building elements, uh, new mechanics to play around with. And I think that's really cool. Uh, but before my diseases uh, progress even further than they have, let's go out to the menu so I don't have to worry about them. Uh, but it's out It's out now on Steam. It's been out for a while, and it is currently 25% off until April 11th. So if you want to pick it up yourselves, uh, just follow the link in the description below, and you can. Uh, the new update has added quite a lot of stuff in, rela in relation to, like, gardening and sustainability. I'm very much looking forward to having a much more stable uh, existence in the skies. I just have to get to the point where um, I have a big enough ship for it, and also have to get rid of those diseases. But before I go, I should also thank Far From Home for sponsoring this video. It was very kind of you and a ton of fun as always. And I'm very much looking forward to this coming out in 1.0. And uh, multiplayer, if that if that does get added. Oh boy, that's going to be a lot of fun. But for now at least, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.